Uh, this is an ammonia measuring post. I've got um, about 10 of these around the local area and they're measuring how much ammonia, which is a certain type of um, soil fertility input, is coming from the local area around this heath. So what it's doing is it is measuring through these things under here, there's two of them, um, it's measuring how much ammonia is around us in the atmosphere. Um, so the ammonia gets blown in and um, there's a little sampler in there, it's just covered with um, citric acid and that soaks up the ammonia and um, it's just collecting the ammonia in the atmosphere. I collect it once a month and um, send it off to get analysed and it just tells me how much ammonia is in the atmosphere coming onto this heathland. There are different types of nitrogen um, or um, pollutant that's coming in from the atmosphere that could affect this heathland um, and one of them is really localised. Things like cows, um, sort of industry and things produce huge amounts of ammonia. We produce it, it's in our urine and um, it is a really good fertiliser. You may have heard of gardeners putting it on their garden and things like that um, and it really helps plants grow but heathland doesn't want that. It doesn't want any more um, nutrients in the soil. Um, so if at this site, this showed me that there's huge amounts of ammonia coming in, it could go a, lot, a long way to explaining why um, this um, heathland might be disappearing. Um, the reason I've got this on a 1.5 metre post is because um, the ammonia is in the atmosphere. So um, it's coming in and it can vary a lot throughout the year. Um, you can imagine if there was a field just over there full of cows or full of um, some sort of plant that a farmer's growing, he might spread huge amounts of manure on it. That would be a, a massive ammonia input. Um, so I need to measure it from the atmosphere and it gets blown around, it's around us all the time. And um, if this is um, really exposed to the air, then it could soak up huge amounts of ammonium. My ammonia samplers are under there. Um, these are to stop birds from landing on top. Hopefully they won't perch on there. Uh, one might have done there. <laughs> Um, but that's to stop big birds like crows and things um, perching on there. If they go for a poop, they'll um, put loads of ammonia on top of my sampler and I don't want that. I um, have a few problems with members of the public coming up. Um, they're curious things and um, they'll come up and have a look at this post and um, they'll come along and be like, ooh, what's that under there? Stick their finger in it. That's ruined. I can't use that. So um, message to members of the public, if you see something that's scientific in any way, just leave it alone, please, because it's a lot of work that goes into it. Um, I've got a little sign here, as small as possible, to make sure that um, it doesn't attract more people in. Um, but I've got a post on a scout camp, which is full of um, teenage boys and girls or younger. And um, they're curious to the point where nothing will stop them. So um, I had problems with them sticking fingers through. Um, so I put a little note up there saying, um, dangerous chemicals, um, don't touch this post. That's not strictly true, but it seemed to work.